before you go on an adventure, it's really important to remember to have people memorise spells. It's very easy to forget, actually. Uh, Dinram doesn't really know any higher level spells, unfortunately. She's leveled up several times. I think she started at level 6, and now she's level 9. Uh, so she's only got level 3 wizard spells. That's the best she can do, basically. But that's something, and we want to uh, also take a look at her magic items. Yeah, the Ring of Protection, the Gorgon's War Banner, which we got from beating the Gorgon in battle, necklace of missiles, potion of fire resistance, and so on. Um, Ring of Protection? We might want to put that on, but I'm not absolutely sure. Let's see. I mean, we've got lots and lots and lots of lieutenants here, haven't we? Because we've got such a... Um, we've hired so many, or get on the fealty of so many people. So I'm going to bring along a bunch of priests, I think. Uh, oh, well, I can only bring four people, though. Let's take a look at these guys. Robin Nicholaire, he wears chainmail and fights with a mace. And so he's. Let's see, it's protection level 25%. And not terribly strong at all. What about Herbari Army and then he's quite strong. Uh, not might as well protect it because he's wearing only scale mail, mainly. But 50 hit points, that's quite good. This one goes well. Ruot Rockhammer, he is a priest, but damn, he's pretty good at fighting as well. He's got 80 hit points, lots of constitution, and decent protection, and lots of spells and stuff. So definitely want to bring that dwarf along. Uh, he's not going to primarily use turn undead spells on this quest, but I like uh, reviews the whole map, but that can be interesting, but shouldn't really be right now, I think. Heal, why not? Uh, priests are good for healing, so I'm going to pick loads of... Right, I've... Frame strike can also be good. Definitely cure serious wounds. Uh, and what level two spells has he got? Spiritual hammer. Yeah, let's bring loads of spiritual hammers. In fact, got so many spiritual hammers we don't really need flame strike. I think so. Your light wounds. Best level one spell. <laughs> well, this is all standard Dungeons and Dragons stuff mostly. Um, if we remove these priests, what spells can alias the wizard use? Levitate, that can sometimes be very useful. Locate object. I love that. We'll show you where things are on the map, so what you're after in your quest. Fireball, fly, levitate is uh, as good as fly, I think. Uh, confusion, that can be useful sometimes. Stone skin, if it gets attacked. Death, power word stun, spell immunity. Yeah, let's really 
useful to have like an object. Uh, uh, I'll bring. This one is higher level, but still actually has fewer hit points. I'm going to bring a uh, Barry Army and then. Take a look at my region's inventory, and I'm actually going to take this ring of protection and give it away to Trokama. So that he can put it on, and increase his protection level, like that. Level five is a bit better. And we'll go to the Rose Palace and look for Danica's Crystal of Scrying. Now wish me luck, because if this stuff crashes, remember you can't actually save. So, <laughs> that's the worst thing actually, the very worst thing about this whole adventure thing, is if something crashes, which it might, uh, I'm lost basically. Now let's bring up the map, and there it is, and let's have... Uh, Yes, Regent. Mildly Changing the leader essentially so that uh, people will be at the you front of the party who are quite tough. And as for yes, Elias, I want you to cast a spell. I want you to cast Locate Object. Cast Object is now marked on the map. It's in there. To our right, so very well. We'll. Head right. Stand right Stand there, right and, there identify and identify yourself. Okay, who said that? Right, so here we've got turn-based combat. You can tell everyone to attack. Or at least my priests. Perhaps I'll let my wizard stand back for now and just put it done. Ready on and uh, two swings and that god or whatever it was went down, basically. And now we've got music, finally. That's not bad. Uh, where's that corpse of that? Yeah, that's a... Rogue. For its time, the uh, you know, back in the day, this... was pretty decent graphics for its time, but, I mean, this is... Tabletop <laughs> role-playing game just transported straight into computer oh, games, where you just toss the uh, dice and see if you hit them. Or not, and this time we're dead, and so we won. Hey, hold on! You're not supposed to be here. Uh, who's that? Where are you? Don't want some anybody attacking my wizards or anything. Okay, open the door. Let's look at the map again. Yeah, the quest object is somewhere over there. Trouble is getting into that place. Of course, there are complications with that. Hey, I'm ready for you. Let's go. Hey, you over here, fight me. Yeah, there's another dwarf. Okay, first time we actually took a hit and didn't whack those dwarfs straight down. Okay. Yeah, I threw out lots, lost 10 hit points apparently. Oh well. Dead dwarf. Nothing much of interest in here. Map again now. It's somewhere in there. Hey, hold on. You're not supposed to be here. Who said that? Oh, you. Yeah, let's have a rock, rock camera attack again. And a bigger right the end in. And to speed this up a bit. Adventure settings. We're going to have combat mode real time. All that does basically oh, is finish the turns down. for us, sort of. So that they just keep fighting until you. Somebody dies, basically. 
You don't have to click done for turns to end, basically that's all this does. <sighs> Having fun yet? <laughs> Honestly, for a com I mean... For computer- as far as computer game fighting goes, this isn't particularly... Interesting. <laughs> it really isn't. I guess he needs to heal himself a bit. Maybe Borgami Endin can heal him a little bit as well. Now, I do believe the quest object is behind this door, which is of course not locked. <laughs> so it's, you know, this really is a clone of the old the old first person shooter of Doom, it's Find the keys, time! Where might that key be, I do wonder. And there are loads of doors here. These are a bit special. And that you can see, I'm trying to open the door now, it didn't actually open one. But while activating that, it strangely opened this door. So... Same with this one, I'm trying to activate it, nothing happens. So that door is now open, and uh, we can pick up this uh, yes, wand of fire right there. This nice little object. We can use it to hurl fireballs at things. We can even use it in in battle uh, on the field of battle. That's neat. I'm looking for something, because I thought it was in here, but it seems my memory of this game was a bit faulty. Well then. It's not so brilliant. Um, Because nobody here had... Some of their blood abilities. You can heal? Yeah, yeah, usually lieutenants don't have... No, they don't. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> la la la, here we are again there, let's... Loot this place then. Basically. Much buckets and, and plates and stuff. Boring. Oh, come on. Yes, that's it, ladies and gents. It's look around, walk around, and a slightly poorly rendered uh, environment, and uh, look for the keys. Meanwhile, encountering monsters that you will either be killed by or kill. Um, monsters in this case, including, of course, soldiers, stuff like that. Like in here, this room is sort of a bit of a throne room, f packed with enemy soldiers. Stand right there, eh? Hey. Hold on! You're not fight. Fight. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's send the wizards also into battle here. Like it. Of course, having okay, got wizards, majesty. there is one other thing we can do than just wait to be to hit or be hit by things. Uh, okay, I could change view and or I thought I could. Hey, you, over here. Here. Fight me. No, that's Fight not a really attack. great idea. Now our of course our <laughs> wizard is now fighting close combat. He did have a spell... Stern skin spell, didn't he? Protect himself a bit. Yeah, and it's actually... If you look at this... It's this guy who's... taking the damage now. Oh 
I able to engage anyone? Okay, look, there's a guy, right? For heaven's sakes. Fine, just heal him up. Maybe a bit more powerful spell. And then attack! Ruark, attack this guy! Unfortunately, he's stuck and can't move because he's too stupid. And now, to avoid everyone getting killed because they're too stupid to be able to move past each other, <laughs> I'm going to have to go into bite turn mode to slow things down to where they stop to make a bit more sense at least. Okay, Ruach Rock Hammer, you're going to attack that guy. No? Ah. Oh. Come on! See why I don't want to do an awful lot of this? It's because it sucks, okay? Okay. Let's try and use your spiritual hammer spell. Okay, you hit him a little bit, that's all. And now you're chasing him. Unable to engage. You're unable to engage. And Ruach Rockhammer isn't able to engage because he's stuck trying to get past Alias, who doesn't understand where the enemy is. A wonderfully well programmed AI. Let's just heal him up a bit. Use spiritual. Actually, use magical vestment. Increase your protection. See, this is a reason why, I mean, I was trying to show you how spells work and stuff, but essentially they don't work very well, that's the thing. Because suddenly things start attacking you and you can't really, I mean, unable to get, don't you understand that they're right here? One more spiritual hammer. Such an extremely ineffective spell. Oh, come on! It's usually not this bad. You, you, I'm usually capable of at least giving the order to attack someone, but not today, it seems. Come on. Okay, let's just hit done. And try and cast it on your new berry, who's now a bit less damaged. Okay, that's one of them down at least. Still unable to send the others to attack. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's change this to real time again. Just so we can get somewhere. And fight. Okay, is it crashed completely now? It's really bad news because that means I'm going to lose my entire turn. <laughs> Ooh, they really didn't think about this when they tried to program the adventure part of this game. They really didn't. Come on! Yeah, now he is looking at me and saying, you know, what was it I was supposed to do again? Oh, there we go. Finally! <laughs> oh my goodness, this is just the best game. You're best. Kidding? Role playing fighting game ever, Mart. Uh, no, you can't, for example, loot these dead corpses or anything. Uh, all the loot is just lying around, you just have to sort of basically pick it up. Okay, more enemies at least now we've got our best melee fighter up front. That's 
to add on real time combat. Hey, I'm ready for you. Let's go. Oh, let's send everyone in so hopefully we can finish this guy before we die of boredom. That's all I like it. You know, Hope Barry is going to heal himself a little bit. So, wasn't there some loot in here somewhere? There's more dwarven gods out there, I think. Is somebody in here? Or something? Not really. Oh great, now I'm fighting someone outside! That's just brilliant, that is... <laughs> I'm fighting him through a window! I can't believe I'm fighting him through a window! Oh my, alright. <laughs> I fought him through a window. That's ridiculous, that is. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, Birthright of the Gorgon's Alliance is a brilliant uh, strategy game, turn-based. But the adventure part, mm, honestly, this is not very well handled at all. Hello there, dwarves! Good. Aren't I supposed to be in, like, in Talony or something now? Why are there so many dwarves defending the human rulers of Talony? I have no idea. I suspect mostly just for a little bit of variation. So there won't be just one of those chiefs all over the place. Okay, uh, very well, yeah. no, Ruach Rock camera actually quite badly hurt now, so let's heal him up a bit. Maybe with a slightly more powerful healing spell. And he can heal himself up a bit as well. It doesn't have to be quite spell casting it. You can, like, hotkey things and so on. That is number one, for example. So, yeah. I've been down here, I've searched those venues. Ah, uh, now we're starting to ring a bell. Another door which doesn't open itself, but once you try and activate it, it opens something else. How neat! Is that supposed to be really, like, really interesting puzzle to figure that out? Or is it basically just a bug where <laughs> the switch, the, sort of the, the activator is keyed to the wrong door or something? I honestly don't know! But...
Okay, this door opened, and hey, there we go. I've got two wizards. I really ought to be casting some offensive spells, I suppose, but uh, <laughs> it's just too fiddly, honestly. Um, I'm gonna cast magical investment on him now to make him a bit tougher. Let's fight. And now look, he was the only one bothering to fight that other dwarf god. The other ones, since this guy fell, just looked, looked at him. It's <laughs> AI in here is rubbish. Anyway, um, who said that? Who said that? Could it be perhaps this wall over there with a huge? Cross carved into it. Could that possibly be a secret wall? Yes, it could. A hidden door. Ain't that something, eh? Especially since almost all the hidden door, every square of wall everywhere in the game that looks like that is a hidden entrance. So how hidden it is when they all mark the hidden entrances with a cross, I don't know. It uh, doesn't seem to be particularly, particularly effective way of hiding things to me, but that's the way it works in this game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Still nothing. Starting to be weird again, are they? Yeah, that's just the outside. I thought I remembered actually that. Uh I saw something on this table. Yeah, look, you can barely make it out, but that is the stone key. Let's pick it up. This has gone on for far too long already. It's, well, it's going to be a one hour episode, this is. Uh, unless I get lost, in which case it's going to be even longer. <laughs> oh, here we are. Okay, finally, let's move. Run, forest. No. And Alias and Ruach and everybody run run run. Let's now we've got the key, let's Oh yeah. That this is a door, mind you, that square there, that's a door. Mm -hmm. I, in, fact, in fact it's not a door, it's a portal, it's a gateway, there's not even a door blocking the way. And yes, finally here we have it. The reward and it is a cool reward for a rather <laughs> boring little mini game but it is a cool reward Danica's crystal of scrying with this relic all hidden army units are revealed which is really really cool but doesn't like it doesn't like give you a, a crazy edge like some other things you can find on adventures like they will boost your uh, uh, regency per turn extremely much like triple it often. Well, it, it adds a sort of a set bonus to it usually, but there are some really, really overpowered objects. This one is really a neat object, object, but I don't think it's overpowered. It just gives me sort of intelligence about what's happening all over Ranware, and that's going to be useful. So let's exit this adventure. Yes, definitely getting out of there. Everyone's still alive. And. Start commanding battles, I suppose, between our regent and all these dwarves and stuff. Uh, notice that the four people that we sent uh, on, on the mission have now been moved to the bottom of my army for some strange reason. I don't know what does that. Okay, let's see if our wizards can try and deal with their dwarven bows, which are by and large, their most yes. nasty Consider units. Also try some priests done. and uh, 
Your command. By your command. Launch your stuff. Command. I'll get on that right away. Disintegrate them. Archers at the Missed. Region. Disintegrate. Missed. Fireball. Finally. It's not as much as they, that they miss as that these freaking uh, dwarves are essentially uh, hotly immune to magic. Yes. Flame strike. Flame strike again. Cone of coal. Death spell. That didn't work. Cone of cold again. And fireball. Alright. Uh, magic missile on the Goblin Cavalry, why not? Until we run out at least. No, that was not what I wanted to do to- Oh crap, crap, crap and crap. Oh. Get you out of there. Yes. Redeploy an archer. Let this wizard stop. Goblins, that's a waste of good spells. Yes. You just get out of there and we'll try to get the wizard out of there as well. We don't want to lose it. Oh crap, this priest is getting clobbered by the dwarven infantry. Have we got some knights? Yeah. Yes. This wizard hasn't got much to do really. So. Okay, uh, let's see if our lieutenant deals with those guys. Oh. Get this archer out of there and see if we can't get a priest to deal with those skeletons. Shoot on the goblin cavalry then. Pull those guys out of there. Priest. Don't you have any spells, Mr. Priest? Yes. Turn on dead. Good. Turn them, turn them completely. Wizard. Well, again, it's a waste, but... Wizard ready, What's wrong with you? Okay, you couldn't hit a simple, simple, simple archer. That's crap. That is. You've got flame strike. You can use that on someone. And you've got flame strike. Blast the golden cavalry. See if some. Wow. Our uh, <laughs> knights were actually routed by the, those infantrymen. Okay, archers don't do terribly well in close combat. Okay, the priest can hold there and fight those guys. Damaged goblins. Um, yeah, and now most of the enemies have been slaughtered by our spells, so... I think I've probably lost an archer, maybe two even. Oh well. I'll get on that right away, Get on that right away. Your command? I'll get on that right away. And let's deploy our knights Your against command. those right. goblins. Regent? Finally, so how many do we lose? Just one archer unit. Yeah, and the Gorgon's Crown lost most of their uh, trips. To our spells, mostly. I think it's, I suppose it's, yeah, this took an hour, but it's now finally turn 14. And I'm not going to go through <laughs> with another adventure on turn 14, so uh, you'll join me for some pure uh, strategy wargaming action then.